Oh, what's up, guys? It is Kansas here, and holy crap, there is a lot of news to talk about today. There is a lot of Kingdom Hearts news to talk about today, because as you all know, there was a big blowout of news regarding Kingdom Hearts last night. I mean, like, a big freaking one. It was, like, insane. So, we got a new trailer for 2.5. Ooh, that trailer looks so good. We got a release date for 2.5, freaking finally. And at the end of that trailer, we got a teaser for Kingdom Hearts 3, and that looks freaking awesome as well. Um, we got, like, announcements for, like, an Ultimania book that's gonna be released in Japan only, uh, as of right now, at least. Uh, hopefully they bring it to America. I'll just get into that later. Um, but, yeah, we have a lot of news to talk about today. So, yeah, I kind of decided to wait to make this video today because I wanted to get all the news out and stuff and then release it today, let all the stuff die down, and then finally make the video where I can put all of the stuff that happened last night into this video and just make one big news video for you guys today. So, yeah, we obviously have a lot of stuff to cover in this video. As you can see, I am freaking excited about it, you know? Well, I, I should have recorded my initial reaction to this, because that would have been a sight to behold. Oh my goodness, we got so much stuff to talk about, and I'm so freaking excited about it, you know? Oh my goodness, so... Yeah, why don't we just get started, shall we? So first off, we get a new trailer for 2.5. Yes, thank goodness we get a new trailer for 2.5. It's been a long time since we got a new trailer for 2.5. Then like December or something since we got a new trailer for this game. That was a long, long time ago. So we finally get a new trailer for this game, and it, it looks, it looks so, it looks so freaking good. You know, it looks so good. Did, did you see? Did you see that gameplay? Did you see that gameplay? Oh my goodness, it looks so gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous. Even for PS3, that is freaking good, you know? So yeah, the game, it looks so gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. 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 I, I can't even, I cannot even stand it. It looks so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this game. Oh my goodness, the trailer looks so good. If you have not seen it, which, what's wrong with you first off, if you have not seen the trailer yet? And... If you have, you have to agree that thing looked goddamn beautiful. So, if you have not seen the trailer, go see it. You will freaking love it. Secondly, regarding 2.5, we finally get a release date. We finally get a freaking release date for this game. Thank God we can finally get a release date for this game. We've been waiting a long, long time for a release date for this game. This kept saying 2014, 2014, 2014. And now, we finally have a set in stone release date for this game, and oh my goodness, it's so much excitement about this game, so freaking real, you know? So, yeah, the release date for Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix in North America will be December 2nd, 2014, and if you're in Europe, the game will be released on December 5th, 2014. Yes! We finally get a release date for this game, although it's a little later than I expected it to be. I kind of expected that first to be released around like fall, summertime, summertime around then. But hey, at least we get a release date for the game. And at least we know when the game's coming out, we don't just have 2014. Now we know when it's exactly coming out, and we just, mm, so much excitement for this game. I'm so freaking hyped, you know? So, yeah, but the downside to it is... The game will be released in Japan on October 2nd, 2014, two months before the American and European release dates. Of course, Japan gets everything first. We all said, oh, it's going to be probably going to be a simultaneous worldwide release date. We were all being all happy and excited about it, you know, but we all knew in the back of our minds it would be released in Japan first. We all knew in the back of our minds that it would be released in Japan at first. We all knew it was gonna happen. And, hey, guess what? It happened. But, we just finally get a release date for this game. It is sort of mad. It makes me sort of disappointed that the game is going to be released in Japan first, like it always freaking is. Always is. I just dream. I, I just dream that one day, one day, we will get a simultaneous worldwide release date 
for Kingdom Hearts game in Japan, America, and Europe. That is a dream of mine. Maybe with Kingdom Hearts 3, they can do that, but I highly doubt that. I'm guessing it will be released in Japan first, because Japan gets everything first. Yeah, but I just dream that one day we can have a simultaneous worldwide release for a Kingdom Hearts game in Japan, North America, and Europe. That is a dream of mine, and hopefully it will come true one day. Hopefully it will. Hopefully our dreams can come true and we can all experience the game together all at once because that's all we want. We don't want Japan to get everything first. We want everything to happen all at once. We all, all of the fans who experience the game at once. But hey, this time, once again, they get the game first because they always get the game first, freaking Japan. Um, but I just wish that one day, just, just one day, I know there are Japanese companies, Square Enix is a Japanese company, they do everything first in Japanese, but I just wish that one day, they maybe will release a game simultaneously, worldwide, and everyone ex can experience the game together, all at once. That's something that I really want. So, yeah, we at least we finally get a release date for this game. We know when the game is coming out. So, yeah, get excited for December 2nd and December 5th because those dates are going to be so freaking awesome. I'm going to be playing those games all day that day. And I will be providing Let's Plays for you guys about that game as well. So, make sure you go look out for those. And they're going to be so freaking awesome. So, yeah, make sure to look forward to those dates because those days are going to be awesome. Awesome! And in this new 2.5 trailer, we get a little teaser for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes! We finally get a little little teaser thing for Kingdom Hearts 3. It's real short, it's only about like 40 seconds, but it's something new for Kingdom Hearts 3. And I cannot be more excited about these two games. 2.5 Kingdom Hearts 3 are gonna be so freaking awesome. So in this little teaser thing, it's only about 40 seconds, real short, but still something. We see two people talking. It's real. There's a lot of speculation about who those two people are. Some people are saying it's Vanitas and Young Xehanort. Some people are saying it's Young Master Eriquist and Young Master Xehanort. All stuff are going. All sorts of stuff is going around. I'm was sort of thinking Vanitas and Young Xehanort because they show them two before this, the two people start talking. So, I was kind of thinking that at first, but now I'm starting to think it's like Young Master Eriquist and Young Master Xehanort, and it may actually, like, explain their backstory or something, because I don't think they've explained it yet in the games, as, as far as I know, anyway. But, we finally get a little teaser thing for Kingdom Hearts 3, and it looks so freaking awesome. Oh, oh my goodness. So much hype for Kingdom Hearts 3. It's not even funny. My excitement level is over 9,000 for these games. So, we get a new trailer for 2.5, which looks damn good. We get a release date for 2.5, December 2nd, 2014, North America, December 5th, 2014, Europe, and October 2nd, 2014, and Japan, because Japan gets everything first, you know? But at least we get a release date for the game, and a new teaser for Kingdom Hearts 3. It looks so awesome. I cannot wait for both of these games. These games are going to be so freaking awesome. I'm so freaking hyped about it. And why don't we move on into the other news that I want to talk about today. So there's going to be some other stuff releasing alongside Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix in Japan. And I'm going to go over some of the stuff in there. And I don't know if this stuff's going to come over to America or not. But I wish... I really, really wish it would. There's one thing in here, especially, that I want to come over to America. And if they don't bring it over here, I'm going to be pissed. So, yeah, why don't we just get into it? So, first off, we just got regular Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. It's going to be about 6,648 yen over in Japan. Approximately $64.97 in US dollars. And that's quite expensive for that game, in my opinion. Plus tax, of course. And... If you purchase it off of the Amazon, Japanese Amazon over there, you can get an exclusive PS3 theme. So, if you want an exclusive PS3 theme with your Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 mix and you live in Japan, make sure to go purchase this off of the Japanese Amazon because you will get it there. I don't know if you have to pre-purchase it or not, it just says purchase on here, so I guess you can just purchase it and get the exclusive theme, but whatever, you're gonna get an exclusive theme for Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix if you pre-order it or purchase it off of the Japanese Amazon, so if you're Japan and you want that, go get it there. And also, I did not expect them to do this, I kinda think this is actually like a good idea, actually. 
they're going to release a Kingdom Hearts starter pack. It's going to include Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 remix and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix. And it's going to be approximately about 9,800 yen, which is approximately $95.76 in US dollars, plus tax, of course. And I actually like this idea that they're going here, putting 1.5 and 2.5 together. So this is cool because if you did not know 1.5, and you want to buy 2.5 as well alongside with it, hey, you get a little collection pack of both of those games, and you get get both of them together. So yeah, this is really cool that they're doing that for the people who did not get 1.5 and want 2.5. You can get that, you can get 1.5 and 2.5 together. So yeah, that's really cool. I think it's a good idea for people who also want to experience the story of Kingdom Hearts and have not yet, because... It, you're basically getting most of the games in this little thing. You're getting the uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix and 1.5, which is like six out of the seven games in the series, except for Dream Drop Distance, which I guess you can easily get on 3DS. Although, Tetsuya Nomura did say that he wants to re-release the game in HD somehow before Kingdom Hearts 3. Hopefully, he will get a chance to do that, but if he doesn't, eh. He's pretty much busy with all the projects right now with Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 is Remix, and Final Phase 15, so he's busy with those things. So, I don't know if he has time for that. But, this is a good idea for people who want to experience the story and have not yet, but you can just easily get Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS. You're getting most of the games in this little thing, let's just say that. It is also good for people who want to be caught up on the story before they get into Dream Drop Distance or Kingdom Hearts 3, which I think you need to kind of play Dream Drop Distance before you play Kingdom Hearts 3, because Dream Drop Distance kind of set up like a prologue to Kingdom Hearts 3. In a way, it's explaining where everybody's gonna be, what's happening with everybody, you know? When we, when you, when Kingdom Hearts 3 starts, it's gonna explain where everybody is, what's going on with everybody, you know? So it's kind of like a prologue to Kingdom Hearts 3, explaining what's gonna go on, on at the beginning of it, you know? So, I think this is a good idea for people who want to be caught up on the story of it, then get into Dream Drop Distance, and then play Kingdom Hearts 3. So... Yeah, this is a really good idea in my opinion. You may be saying, hey, why don't they just get 1.5 and 2.5 not put in this like overpriced collection pack? Well, there is one edition of this game. I don't want you to get a regular edition of 1.5 and 2.5 together because that's not really good. If you get the special edition of it, which is called the collector pack, including HD 1.5 and 2.5, you will also get a Blu-ray music disc containing tracks from the series and it comes with an artwork booklet. Get that version, please. Um, I hope they release both of those versions in America. I would get the collector pack, of course, because it has all the little goodies in it and stuff, you know? So I will be getting that version because it comes with an art book and a Blu-ray music disc containing tracks from the series. Ooh! Ooh, I want that. I want that. You better release that in fucking America. Because that... Cause that is tight, you know? So I want that. Release that in America. And I guess you all can feel me with that. If you want to get this little collector pack of 1.5 and 2.5, you don't want to get it like separately, get that version. Because the collector pack, that is worth your money right there. Getting like remade tracks from the series, I'm guessing gonna be put remade tracks from the series and that music disc. And it comes with the artwork booklet. Oh goodness, get that version. If you're in Japan and you want to get one of those things, get that version. So, yeah, I hope they release those in America, because that would be freaking awesome if they did that. It'd be real easy to do, you know? So, yeah, I like the idea of that. You may not like the idea of that, because you could just get 1.5 and 2.5 together. But that edition low makes it worth buying, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And also, they're releasing something else, so why don't we get into that as well? They will also be releasing an Ultimania book on Kingdom Hearts. Fucking yes, um, it's going to be released alongside the release of 2.5 in Japan on October 2nd, 2014, which is only in Japan right now, but they better release this in fucking America, I will get into that later. Um, so, it will be 256 pages long, and it will be 3,132 yen, which is approximately $30.61 over here in America, and it will feature character profiles, world guides, and enemy directory, and an art gallery for every game in the series. Even Final Mix. Uh, it's, um, mm, uh, me want this. Me want this now. Me, me want, me want this now. Me do not want later. Me want this now. I know me has to wait later, but me want this now. 
release it alongside 2.5 in America, please. That would be very, very nice. J just, you know what? Just, just shut up. Just shut up and take my money, Screen. It's just, just shut up and fucking take it. Okay? Because I would buy this thing in a fucking heartbeat, you know? Because there are so... There's so many, so much stuff in this book. Oh my god. That... That... I would buy this immediately. First, I would buy 2.5. First, I would buy that. And then I would get this, okay? Oh my goodness. I, I, I want this. I want this, Square Enix. Me want this. Release this in America. If you like, if you like your American fans, okay? If you like them, you owe it to us to release this here. Okay? Please, please just release it here. You've been get you it will be released in Japan first, of course, everything. You owe it to us to release it here. Okay? Just owe it. You owe it to us to release this here in America. Which I hope they freaking do. If they don't, which I, I think they more than likely will, because they know we want this real bad. Um, I will be more than pissed off. I will be fucking pissed the fuck off. <laughs> Okay, oh my god, this th this is I want I want this now I me want this now Okay, hopefully you'll share my reaction to this because this 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 is so fucking awesome Okay, 2.5 and this I will be getting that in a heartbeat Okay, so give it to us, please That's all I ask of you bring it to America Please because there's so much shin here J just release it here, please, please. Thank you. All right, moving on. So I was gonna move into the next topic that I was gonna talk about, you know, and discuss my opinions on that until this popped up. So Square Enix France has released the gameplay of Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix, the English version, direct feed video of gameplay. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It looks so freaking good. I will leave a link below in the description so you can go check it out. And I will leave links below to the, in the description so you can check out all the trailers that I'm talking about in this video. So I'll also leave it up on screen right now so you guys can see it. But look at it. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good. I am so, so excited for this game. I could not be more excited about this game if I tried, you know? So the excitement is there. The excitement level is over 9,000 right now. I am so hyped for this game. I will probably be making like countdown videos counting down to 2.5 like we have like three months away, two months away, one month away, a couple weeks away, you know, I'll probably be making some of those videos and I'll try to make the most Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix videos that I can while doing some Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff here and there, but I'm probably going to be mainly hyping up 2.5, you know, making a lot of videos about that because it's releasing this year and there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out about this game in the next coming months, the next six months leading up to the release of the game. So be sure to subscribe to K8 Central, this channel, to be there with all the countdown stuff, all the news, all of the greatest stuff that you can find here on K8 Central because I'm gonna be hyping this game up like there is no tomorrow. So yeah, just, just look at the gameplay, it looks so good. There is some like gameplay and cutscenes from Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Prince Plus Sleep, yada yada yada, it, it just looks so good. Just look at the gameplay, you'll see. Check the link in the description, check it out. You will love it. So, yeah, moving into the next topic. So here comes the part of the news where I get a little disappointing, a little disappointing. I get a little mad, I get a little pissed off, you know? I'm with uh, HMK on this one, I'm I'm pissed off about this too. Um, So, yeah, let's just get into it, shall we? So, Shinji Hashimoto was giving an interview with Famitsu, and he was talking about, you know, all the new stuff that we just talked about before in the new Kingdom Hearts. 2.5 based remix trailer and the Kingdom Hearts CTs are at the end of it, you know? And in that interview, he was asked about the possibility, can we see, can we expect new information on Kingdom Hearts 3 to be revealed at E3 2014? He said that the team is working diligently on the game, however, it is not the right time to release more information on Kingdom Hearts 3. And he also said that they are waiting to release some new information on Final Fantasy 15 later on in the year. I think that's what he's trying to say here. I don't think Final Fantasy 15 will be at E3 2014 either. So, here's the question I ask you. Why did you not save that little Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser thing for E3 itself, for the Sony press conference? Why did you not save it for that, okay? So, you could have easily, you could have easily done that, you know, easily saved it for E3, showed it at the Sony press conference, just a little, short little teaser, everyone would be happy about it, you know? Everybody would have been fine with it. If you just released it then, you know? So, why didn't you release it then? 
we want some we want something at E3 2014. That would have been the perfect opportunity to release that little 40 second little teaser trailer and stuff. That would have been a perfect opportunity to release it at the Sony press conference and stuff. That would have been the perfect opportunity to do that. But no, you just decided to release the trailer now and put the little Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser at the end of it. You should have said that for E3. That's what I'm trying to say here. You should have said that little teaser thing at the end for E3. Everyone would have been fine with it. Nobody would have complained. Everybody would have been excited about it regardless. And everything would be all fine. If that was just it, that's all we got to see. We would be fine with that, because we get to see something regarding story, finally. We get something about the Lost Masters, and Young Master Xehanort, Young Master Erquist, all that stuff. We get to see all of that, and it's... Mm, why did you not save it for E3? I, I, that's the question I ask you. Why did you not save it for E3? People were asking to show something at E3. I know the Kingdom Hearts AC 2.5 Remix trailer was an E3 trailer, but I think they should have saved it for the Sony press conference, showed it there. At least to give us something for E3, you know, at E3 itself, you know? So, I wish they would have done that there. I would, I wish they would have done that there. The, why? You kept saying, just wait for E3, just wait for E3, just wait for E3, more information will come out there. And, if you just released that little teaser trailer, everybody would have been fine, okay? So, I think you should have waited to show the tr teaser trailer. In the Sony press conference itself, maybe you could have shown the 2.5 trailer in there as well. Save that for the Sony press conference as well. And then show that little teaser at the end of it, and everybody would have been fine. Okay? And also, seeing that it's not going to be at E3 this year, I am just going to completely forget about the release really speculation of Kingdom Hearts 3 being released in 2015. I don't think it's going to be released in 2015 at all at this point, because it was going to be released in 2015. I think they would have... Showing a trailer at the Sony press conference saying, hey, it's going to be released in 2015. Get excited, get ex get excited, get hyped, because it's going to be out next year. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be awesome. Coming out next year, get excited. So I don't think it's going to be released in 2015 at all, because they didn't show a trailer off of this, this year's E3 saying, hey, it's going to come out in 2015. I think they would have done that more than likely, and they have not. I think that teaser is pretty much all we're going to get about Kingdom Hearts 3 at this year's E3. Maybe they'll let some stuff slip about it. But I think that's pretty much all we're going to get about Kingdom Hearts 3 this year's E3. But expect more to see more stuff about Kingdom Hearts 3 at TGS and DS23 Expo and all those other events in the coming months. And I would just keep my eyes on those things for Kingdom Hearts 3 information because just sit here, not going to be in 2014. And that, that's real sad. So yeah, 2015, I don't think it's going to be released then. I say 2016, 2017, those two years sometime. In those two years, I think it's going to be released. Hopefully, it's going to be 2016 because I want it to be released earlier because I want this game now. I want it so badly. But seeing that they didn't release a trailer, and I think they would have shown off a trailer saying, hey, it's going to come out this next year. Nah, completely forget about the 2015 release date speculation. And also, I still think that they announced this game way too early. They announced this game way, way too early. I mean... I know it was to shut us up, they they released a trailer to say, hey, finally get your Kingdom Hearts 3, now you can shut up, because the fans would not just stop, not shut up about it, and they just finally released real Kingdom Hearts 3 saying, hey, you finally get your Kingdom Hearts 3, it's now, it's in development, just don't worry, now you have a Kingdom Hearts 3, now you can just shut up, alright? So, it was to appease the fans, you know? And I still think that's a dumb decision that they announced it last year. I think they should have waited until this year's A3 to announce Kingdom Hearts 3. Because I think they kind of shot themselves in the foot by announcing it last year. And th they said that the game was announced way too early. They needed some more time to work on the game before they announced it, you know? But it was just to appease the fans, make it shut up, because we went shut up about it. And... They, fi this, this, they just finally revealed it and showed it off and said, Hey, you finally get Kingdom Hearts 3 now, you can shut up. But, dumb decision, they should have done that. I think they should have announced it this, this year's E3. Get us more hyped about it, you know, because it's going to be released sooner. And it's making more fans mad because it's not going to be E3 2014 this year. So, you should have saved the Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser trailer, announcement trailer, for E3 2014. Everyone would have been fine. You would have gotten a year of complaining about it. But... Still, I think it would just been a better decision overall to keep the fans not waiting as long as we are right now, and should have just saved it for E3 2014 this year. I think that would have been a better decision overall. So, yeah, I guess that's all there is to talk about about E3 2014 and Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 not being there. 
So yeah, I guess that's all there's to talk about about that. So there's another little thing that I want to end here as well, just another little thing. Um, so Square Enix is gonna do another Square Enix Presents this year. So if you don't know what Square Enix Presents is, they started this little thing last year, and it's basically them interviewing the developers of the games that they're featuring in the little thing, and them answering those questions, basically like interviews and stuff. I don't know if they do other stuff in there as well, I did not see all the stuff from Square Enix Presents last year because I didn't watch it. All I've seen is little bits of the 1.5 thing that they did last year. But it's basically interviewing the developers about the games and them answering the questions and stuff. All the screening games, you know. And this year, they will be featuring Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix in the lull rotation of those games. And remember that survey you took a while back? Remember that survey that we did, like, like ask the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix team anything, you know? for like a little Q&A session that they may do in the future. Well, it is confirmed that the Square Enix Presents thing that Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix thing is going to be featured in, they're going to be answering the fans' questions about Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix that they ask in that little survey thing. So we're finally going to get answers to this question that fans asked in that survey a while back. Of course, they can't answer all the questions because thousands of people ask questions in that survey, so they can't physically answer all of those questions. But I'm guessing they'll answer like 20, 25 sometime around that. If they're going to do shorter, I'm guessing. I guess I'm saying if they have like time constraints and stuff because they're on the schedule and stuff. So I am really, really excited to see all the fans' questions being answered. Uh, hopefully they'll answer my question. Maybe, maybe not, but I highly doubt it, you know. There's literally thousands of people who ask questions, so I don't know if my question will be featured in there. My question was, why were you so silent about the game for such a long time? I want to know that. And why did you just not talk about the game for a long, long time. I want to know about that. But I don't know if they'll answer that question or not. So, yeah. For people who have questions are going to be answered in this thing, I am happy for you. And your questions are finally going to get answered. And the fans' questions are finally going to get answered. So, I am going to try to live stream that little thing and my reactions to it and the fans' questions and stuff. So, I will try my hardest to do that. If schedule things happen, then yeah, I can't do it. I'll try my hardest to, you know. So, yeah, get excited for that because we're finally going to get answers to the questions that we asked and the survey thing a while back. So, get excited, get hyped, because E3 is going to be awesome for 2.5, especially. Well, 2.5 mainly because Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 3 are not going to be there. But, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, we're going to get a lot of information at E3. So, be sure to look out for that little Q&A session thing at Square Inks Presents. I'm guessing they'll release a schedule for the thing soon. So, yeah, make sure to look forward to that. So, yes, yeah, basically all I want to talk about with you guys today. I know this video is quite long. Well, there was a lot of stuff to talk about, so this video is going to be long regardless. And I thankfully got in all the stuff that I wanted to talk about and put in this video. So, yeah, mission accomplished, I guess. So, yeah, that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. Make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion on the new Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser at the end of the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 trailer. Do you like the new Kingdom Hearts 2.5 trailer? Do you like the new teaser trailer at the end of the 2.5 trailer? Do you like the release date that they gave? And what do you think about it being released in Japan first? Because Japan gets everything first, nah. And what do you think about Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 not being at E3 2014? Well, not heavily being there. May, they may, may let some stuff slip, but I think that's usually pretty much all we're getting this year at E3 2014 for Kingdom Hearts 3. So, yeah, what is your opinion on it not being heavily featured there? So, my, write down in the comments below your opinion. And also, are you excited for the little Square Enix Presents thing where they answer the fans' questions and stuff? So yeah, make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion on that. So yeah, also make sure to write down in the comments below some discussion topic you want me to talk about and I may feature topic in the next video, may feature channel in that video as well. So make sure you go do that. Make sure to subscribe to become a keyboard builder. My goal is at 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me reach the goal, make sure to subscribe. This has been K Central, your number one place where we can come right to Final Fantasy. I'll see you guys later.